so this is a winter version of poison oak, Toxicodendron diversilobum. Part of the Anacardiaceae family, that's the sumac family. And this is literally a wall, just a wall. Isn't that outrageous? And it is still covered in Eurasia oil, even when it's in its dormant phase. So years ago, I had a student ask me, what's poison oak here for? Why is it here? What's it, what's it good for? How's it good to humans? Why is it even here? And I thought about that question and I had this opportunity to have a teaching moment. So I said, well, why are you here? What good are you for us? And they were a little taken back but, of course, I said, I don't mean to be offensive in any way. It's just a, an interesting question to ask about the value of anything. Because poison oak is not here for humans. I mean, really, no plants that are, you know, native to the land are here for humans. We may get wonderful antioxidants and vitamin C from these rose hips. But they're not here for us. And there's many roles that plants play in their ecosystems, and we don't necessarily know all of them. These wild roses have a simil similar value, actually, to poison oak in some ways. And that value is, well, it goes back to poison oaks, one of poison oaks, many common names. One of its common names is called guardian of the forest. When you see these big stands of it, like over there, right over there, it's all poison oak as well. Well, these roses are covered in thorns and you get too close and they make sure you know you are too close. Another way of guarding the wetlands that we're in right now. Love spending time walking with plants in my local park. <laughs>